Morgan. Morgan, stand by. David Cantor is back on the phone with us. And David, I, I know you've been following this very closely. Uh, give me a sense of what your thoughts are on what just happened. Well, you know, it was no surprise because this is the toughest decision these people will ever make. I mean, it's one thing to say she's guilty. It's another to say there's uh, heinous, cruel, and depraved. But to single-handedly be able to stop somebody from being executed is a lot of power. And you have to live with it if they do execute her. So I wasn't completely surprised. Um, uh, and I do think they need to actually weigh whether they want to retry this because they'll have to retry it in a different county. Uh, they'll have to change the venue. And it's going to be quite a bit of money to retry this. Now, why? Why would they have to do it in a different venue? Well, there's almost impossible to find a jury in Maricopa County that hasn't formed an opinion uh, on this issue. And you'd almost have to go all the way to I don't know, Bisbee, Flagstaff, um, Clifton, to find some jurors who could be fair and impartial during the penalty phase. This is Morgan Law. I just want to clarify here. I, I was under the impression that at this point, the, the guilt or innocence phase is done. Uh, the aggravating phase is done. So if they were to impanel another jury, it would just be for this uh, sentencing phase. Is that incorrect? No, that's true. It would be for just the sentencing, but they still have to be fair and impartial. They can't have a preconceived notion that I want to put her to death or I don't want to put her to death. But it's okay. So, it's okay, certainly, if they've heard about the case and heard about facts of the case, as long as they haven't formed an opinion. Is that what you're saying? Sure, but given the media coverage, I think you'd be hard-pressed to find anybody in Maricopa County that hasn't formed an opinion of whether she should live or die. So what do you think is the likelihood, then, that this would actually go to another jurisdiction? Well, I think the likelihood that the defense will file the change of venue motion is 100%. Mm. And then or whether the judge grants it, I'd say it's more likely than not. I just can't imagine them finding a jury in Maricopa County where they haven't People haven't already formed an opinion on life or death. And David, and then you get into a, a number of different factors here. And I, I'll give you an example. I, I moved here from Florida. I covered the Casey Anthony case. In that case, they had a change of venue slightly in that they picked a jury from the other side of Florida and bust them to Orlando to actually hear the case. So a change of venue case in this particular case, would you see it going down like that? Or would they pick up and move the entire court, all the proceedings, all the players to another jurisdiction and then just camp out there, pick the, the other jury, and stay there for the remainder of the sentencing phase. Well, in most cases in Arizona, that's exactly what they do. Now, given the size and scope of this case, it is possible they could bust in a jury or bring a jury in from outside the county, sequester them, put them up in a hotel, and simply handle it that way. Mm. Give me a sense of what uh, Juan Martinez must be thinking right now. Well, I think Juan is probably upset. I know he wants to go forward, uh, but it's Bill Montgomery's call at this point.